Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fox Plays. We're playing that the Aquatic Adventures of the Last the Aquatic Adventure of the Last Human. So I found the save point. That's cool. Now let's let's go kick some butt. Let's kick some ocean butt. But yeah, this is it's. Oh, I'm just like I'm in that obsessive secret mode now. I can already feel the obsession going. I'm just like, where are the secrets? Where are they? Right, anyway, let's go right. Oh, there's a city here. Oh, cool. So obviously something bad happened to Earth. Most likely a polar... Oh, upgrade crate. Found the secret. There's a uh, seaweed in the way. Do I need like some flame throw or something? Am I just going down here and going in the ground or? Huh. Sorry guys, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit of an obsessive explorer sometimes. Depends what the game it is, but this game I can already feel it. And when it comes to Metroidvania style games, I'm just like, I'm just so like, I need to get all the secrets. Oh, I know it. You know what, I probably need a weapon to cut that seaweed or whatever it is. I can't read that right in seaweed forest. That is a maze. What are these like holographic jellyfish are for? So that's the way forward. And the seaweed cut blocks the way? No problem. Let's go this way then. Great, great. What do we got? Hull repair speed, sweet. Can I swim against this? No, no way. Alright. Oh, no, dead end. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Done. Alright, that's the end of this area. Whew. Hold up. Wait a minute. Alright, hold it. There once was a great forest that covered up so well and they gave us life and wiped our asses with them. enjoying this. I'm really... I like the colours. I really want to know what happens. You might guys notice that I'm very passionate about indie games. I, I just... I, know, I just could never see anything wrong with them. Not not like there are bad indie games out there or just, you know, lesser ones. But... What do you got here? Nah. But yeah, I just... I don't know. I just love people's... It's just cool to see what people can make on a low budget. Of like, or like what their interpretation of what a game should be. I think that's such a powerful medium. And, you know, that's why, that's why I make these videos. I probably said it plenty of times in a drift, but, you know, I, I want to help see seaweed forest. Yeah, and I want to, I want to help these developers, you know, you know, get the exposure that they deserve. Because some of these games are really cool and much, much, much better than Call of Duty. And you're gonna hear me rag about Call of Duty, guys. So if you're a Call of Duty fan, I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't respect the game at all. So the old ones, yeah, and the first Modern Warfare was pretty cool, but after that, it's just a cash grab. I don't, I don't like games that just exploit and just, you know, keep making sequels. I always like something different. All right. So yeah, I, you know, I want to help help these in, in the independent, so independent developers grow, and yeah. So what the hell's going on here? This level is crazy. Well, what's my upgrades at? I've got 3 out of 26. Clock upgrade. Oh, more upgrades. Sweet! Get my, just get my sub on. It's super strong. And we've got a right and a left. No, I can't go right because the seaweed's in the way. So here's the Metrovania kicking in. What have we got the map? Yeah. 
so we can go right. Let's just see if we can go right. Not too easy, anyway. I'm loving this music. It's so. Oh, can't go left either. So I need someone to cut that super seaweed. I think there was a down I could have gone. I couldn't go right, wasn't it? Yeah, so let's go down. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting this. We're doing it, guys. We're going to do it. But yeah, tell, tell me some of your favourite indie games that you guys have played. Uh, I know... What are my favourites? Uh, what, what really got me to indie gaming, I reckon, was... Missionarium? Yeah, I reckon Missionarium. If you guys haven't played it, it's this point-and-click game, like an adventure-style game from this Czech developer... What are they called? I, I, met, I made it to design something like that. Oh, here we go, boss guy. Cool. I'm gonna go nice and close and just go bang, bang, bang. Oh, oh well, maybe not. That was quick. Uh, okay. Let's try again. The farthest. I like these boss names. I like Hell Dark Souls boss names. So if you, I can't go too close because then they just shield those little sea, sea horses at me. So I got to be a bit more strategic. Oh great! I can't. I can't shoot up. They're almost half health. That one's dead. Uh, I might just chill out here and get my health back. Now this is the guy that knocked me into the... Into the... Uh, what was it? The wall. So he's probably got some like super propeller powers and that. So he's a bit, he's a bit crazy. This guy's a loose cannon. Alright. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. Alright. Now they're going crazy mode. Jeez! Oh, I just got I got bloody seahorse to death. I'm gonna try and kill the right one first this time. Jeez, they are relentless. Oh, okay. What's well, it? I got a warning then. Land in the fires. Uh, I've done. I've done a bit of bomb rush damage just then. Oh, what the! F I had like full health. What happened? Oof, all right. It's nice to actually play a game of challenge. My I've just been playing Dark Souls three for so long. I'm just like, can, can I just put, can I play an easy game? Oh, there's clams there, okay. I might just chill out here, see if I can get my health back. I got a bit of my health back. I killed one seahorse. I'm gonna ch chill out here for a sec. Get my health. Oh, oh. Alright, I guess I'm not allowed to chill out there for a sec. No chilling at all in this game. There's no Netflix and chill. Just straight kill, kill, and be a be a kill. Alright. Go. My thumb. My finger hurts from. Because the, the shoot button's R2, and I'm just like, I'm just jamming it. I'm so low on health. Every time I get a bit of health, I always get hit. Oh, bloody human shield killed him. This boss reminds me of, um, 
What was it? The oh, the boss from Donkey Kong Country Three underwater. And he's got like all the uh, the protectors around him. Oh, I'm kind of keen to bum rush him. Go go go! Got him! Hell yeah! Chainsaw. As as you cut for seaweed, sweet. Cute little, look at my cute little chainsaw on my ship. Can I go left? What's that written there? Oh, you can only use one weapon at a time. It's a bit crap. The thing with like this cute little chainsaw, just chill out in the front. There's, there's, there's gonna be a way to get there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get out of here. Alright. Let's go, go, go. Sweet. I like this chainsaw already. Me and this chainsaw, we're gonna become good friends. <laughs> I don't even need a concert. I can just go... Just, oh, jeez. I'm picking up. So I'm gonna go to that save point. I'm gonna grab that upgrade. See, already, my brain's already thinking ahead. It's like, I've, I've got to get that upgrade. Got to get the upgrade. Crossroads. It was near the crossroads, wasn't it? Or was one screen up? Oh, I'm not going to save just yet. Actually, I will save. Alright, save. Now, where was that item? It was here. Alright. That is gonna be great. Harpoon charge speed. Oh, yeah, it's a bit quicker. Cool. You know, guys, I might leave it there as an episode. If you're loving, the, if you're loving the series, give me a give me a like, give me a share, share with the community as well, share with the gaming community. And guys, my name is Fox, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Zzz.